Hello there. Are you awake? Are you rattled? Are you still shaking from glimpsing that beast in your slumber? Or are the whispers just uh, getting louder, clearer, urging you to rip someone apart? Either way, you'll fit right in with us degenerates here, sharing the experience that is Battles and Thorns on KKBN, the sounds and news of Bucharest by night. I'm your host, the malicious, mischievous man of mystery, the deadly rose, masterfully mumbling. Good evening, boys, girls, ghouls, fae folk, furballs, mummies, and mages. Before anything, I have to give a shout out to my girl, French lady, and sovereign extraordinaire, Prince Marie Claire. Because, you see, kittens. Her Majesty's a listener and a massive fan of my little show. Such a fan she is that she starts the sheriff for interesting Mr. Mon in uh, finding me and, well, to put it mildly, pull the plug on this program. And yours truly probably for being such a naughty naughty whistleblower. Don't worry, darlings, uh, Nosferatu Bloodhound sniffing my digital prints is quite a distance away from getting anywhere near me. And if he's listening as well, I have this to say. Dear boy, whatever made you think I'm actually in Bucharest, this is a digital broadcast, sweetheart, so don't get your hopes up. That being said, because I just love wearing this giant bullseye on my chest, let's get on with the news. Oh, which is a little sad and quite disappointing. So disappointing that I'm going to have to start dropping names. I'm referring, of course, to the sheriff's adorable flock of airheads, whom we have followed and we will follow still as long as they aren't as bloody boring as they've been tonight. <laughs> Their evening started promising as they met downtown in front of a very large and beautiful building by the river and my absolute crush, the fiery bandits of the gangrel, almost got into a fight with a rude and obnoxious taxi driver. Oh, pity, mon chéri, uh, that you didn't rip him a new one right there, with all those people looking. Now that would have been news and, uh, and a very sexy visual for me to fantasize about later on. <laughs> the very bizarre Tsimichi, though, the man of Are You There God, did steal that asshole's car. See, bandits love. That is something to report on. And so, they made their way to the screw. They do seem to love that place, don't they? And I hear after a little heated exchange with Sam's crew, everyone's favorite blue boy Tom, young Count Victor Horak, the Camarilla Tremere in the group, decided it was a good idea to ask Sam herself to aid him in a very, very disrespectful prank against her own boyfriend. Needless to say, thanks came out and his lordship got thrown out on his ass, nearly destroying the fragile relationship his own coterie so difficultly managed to build. So, Victor, my boy, if you're listening, you better make nice. Not for the sake of being let back in into that lovely miniature Elysium, but for your own sake. Cause when you piss them off, you don't piss off just Sam. Anyway, tail between his legs along with the other kids and the sewer rat I think was tasked with tracking me down, they probably thought it was about time to check in on their boss. And shame on you, younglings, for taking so long. I mean, the guy was attacked by a werewolf, his car ended up a pile of distorted metal, his prince is most likely all up in his business about the incident, and the least you could do is send a man a card. 
<laughs> and as they got to his office, they actually crossed paths with uh, Big Gal herself, escorted obviously by her guard dog, scary looking, super imposing, and electronically handicapped Miss Dominic Serrano. Sorry to say this, my lovelies, but we couldn't get any eyes or ears in there, you understand? But I'm guessing it was quite the interaction. The unholy priest did miss the show though, as he decided it was better to fuck off, cab included, and avoid explaining why his bloodline should even be allowed to occupy the same space as the Ivory Tower members. As for the rest of the night, because these guys just love to travel, it seems. They went back to the National Theater for more clubbing and socializing. And uh, last we heard, they had the pleasure of meeting Evelyn, the wackiest gangrel there is. <laughs> I'm sorry if you're listening to this, sweetheart. I mean it in the kindest of ways. I love that hippie Janis Joplin vibe of yours. Never change. And that's all we've got for you at the moment, but the night's not over and who knows, by dawn they might actually give me something to sing my fangs in, as so should you. With that I'll say goodbye. Saddened, this was one of those very few occasions when I waste so many words on so little substance. Go out, go dance, go enjoy this hellish weather while we still have it. But remember to come back for more petals and thorns, my darlings. And remember, savor the night, progressed. Savor the fucking night.